everyone, it's Mafalda and this is the Reading Habits book tag. So I think I'm the last person to do this tag because everyone was doing this tag I think last year and earlier this year but I never really got around to do it also because I wasn't tagged and I still wasn't tagged this time but I just felt like doing a tag so I thought I would do this one. Also if you haven't done this tag and you want to do it feel free to feel tagged by me because I'm not tagging anyone in specific and yeah let's get started. So the first question is do you have a certain place at home for reading? And yeah, I guess I do. I read mostly in my bed. I read every single day in my bed. But then I have some other places that it kind of depends on the weather. Like when it's sunny, I like to go outside to my backyard and read in the sun. That's like my favorite thing to do. But obviously in the winter, I'm not gonna do that. So mostly I read in my bed. And I also have a reading chair, but honestly, I don't use it as much as I should i guess i read mostly in my bed is where i'm most comfortable i have a million different positions that i can do in my bed that didn't sound right <laughs> um but i have but i have like but i just like it's more versatile and it's more comfortable so yeah in my bed is where i mostly read now the next question is bookmark or a random piece of paper and i am a bookmark girl through and through, I have a very big collection of bookmarks. Wait, I'm just gonna get them. This is my very big collection of bookmarks. I have a bunch of different bookmarks for different occasions and different books and everything. And I love collecting bookmarks, so I will always, always use a bookmark. I will never use a random piece of paper. I am not that chaotic. If somehow I'm out of the house and I start a book, and I don't have a bookmark with me, maybe in that case I could use a random piece of paper, but as soon as I get home I will grab one of these notebooks and put it on the book. Like, I just can't. And I really don't get people who also have like a collection of bookmarks and have a variety of bookmarks and still use like random stuff. I just don't understand that. Like, why do you have bookmarks then? Like, what? <laughs> and honestly, even though I have a collection of bookmarks, I still use like the same five different bookmarks every single time. Um, I don't know, I just get attached to different bookmarks and then that's all I use. But yeah, I use bookmarks. That's the main point, I guess. The next question is, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? And I, in that case, I am very chaotic and I just stop whenever like if i'm in the middle of a sentence the middle of a chapter a middle of a page i just don't care and i'll just stop um because when i have to stop i have to stop like i won't do that on purpose but like if i have to stop for some reason i will stop whenever like wherever i am i'll just come back to it and like read the whole page through again or something like it's it doesn't bother me at all and honestly i hate people who aren't like me and are like oh let me just finish this chapter or the page or whatever i'm like just stop we have to go <laughs> so yeah i'll just stop whenever then when i come back to the book i'll just like read the previous page or read the whole page through again and i'll immediately remember what was happening in the story so it doesn't really bother me to stop whenever so yeah the next question is do you eat or drink while reading and i would say yes but also no it kind of depends on the book that i'm reading um especially because i don't like to be holding the book while eating like i can't do that type of multitasking. I will only eat while reading if the book just stays open. If it's a floppy paperback or a hardback, I will just like leave it open in front of me and eat while reading and going through the pages. But I can't just like be holding a book with one hand, uh, somehow cracking it open and everything and then also eating on the other hand like I just can't do that it will get messy the book will fall out of my hand and it just doesn't work so if the book can stay open in front of me I will read while eating so it's not really a question of oh will I get my book dirty like I don't really mind that it's just like can I do that um, and if I can I will if I can't I won't I'll just eat fast and then read afterwards and drinking yes I will drink while reading. I'm basically always drinking water at least so yes I do that all the time and I, it doesn't really bother me like I'm not I'm never afraid of dropping food or dropping water or like any drink on my books if it happens it happens and yeah that's life I like my books to have character so yeah the next question is multitasking music or TV while 
reading and this is something that I cannot do. Unfortunately, I would love to be that person that reads while listening to music. Like I can only listen to music with no lyrics. So like soundtracks of movies or something that I like to listen to a lot is ASMR rooms. I really like to listen to that while reading, but like Music, I cannot. TV also cannot because I'll just start concentrating on the lyrics of the song or like the people talking in the movie while reading and it will just like get super messy in my head. The things happening in the book will start blending with the movie that I'm watching or listening to and it just doesn't work. And honestly, I wish I was one of those persons that can just like block out any sound while reading. That is like honestly my dream because I cannot do that for the life of me. I don't know. I'll just like pay attention to everything at once and it doesn't work and I get super like stimu overstimulated honestly and this is something that always annoyed me about myself because on public transport I really like to read on public transport, on commutes and I would just like if someone was talking around me I would just not be able to read my book and that was like hell honestly like if I was on a commute like a 30 minute commute and someone was talking next to me that would just like ruin my time because I wanted to read and I couldn't just couldn't concentrate um, on my book properly. So that's something that I don't like about myself, but it's just what it is. So usually I just listen to like soundtracks or something with no lyrics, just like background music. And that works fine for me, but usually I like to read in silence. That's like my preferred method. And that way I know I won't get distracted and I'll just be paying full attention to my book. And that's how I like it. <laughs> the next question is one book at a time or several at once. And if you would have asked me this like Two years ago, I would have said one at a time. I cannot read more than one book at a time. And now I only read several books at once. That's how I like it. I always read at least two, maximum four books at once. But like four is a bit overwhelming, to be honest. So usually I stick to like two books or three books at once. And that works perfectly fine for me. And that's how I get so much reading done, to be honest, is just like having a lot of books at once and just like reading a little bit of every single book every day. And that just makes me fly through the books and I love it. I will never go back to one book at once, even though for a number of years, I would only read one book and then finish it and then read another one. But now I'm just like, Give me all of the books, I'll read all of them at once. And I won't confuse the stories because that was my main concern. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna start mixing the stories. And sometimes it kind of happens, but once I start reading the book, I'll just remember like, oh, that's from the other book that I'm reading. It really depends. And for that not to happen, sometimes I just like to read different genres at the same time. So that way they will be easily separated in my mind. Uh, but yeah. A lot of books at once, give me all the books, I'll read everything. <laughs> the next question is reading at home or everywhere. And like I was telling you before, I would read anywhere to be honest, but sometimes because of other people around me and background noises and everything, I won't be able to read anywhere. But usually I prefer actually to read outside, like in nature, in the sun, at the beach, like that is my perfect reading time and it's where I'm most like comfortable reading, but at the same time, if it, there's a lot of noise around me, I won't be able to concentrate. So yeah, I will read anywhere. It really depends on what is around me. Uh, but if it's like, if I'm at a beach in the sun with my book and it is quiet around me, that is like perfect for me, perfect. And I will get so much reading done and it's amazing. And I'm getting vitamin D and I love it. So. I will read anywhere. It really depends on who's around me and the noises around me. The next question is reading out loud or silently in your head. And most of the times I read silently in my head because when I try to read out loud to myself, I just spend so much time like focusing on pronunciation and everything and I'll just take so much more time to read. So usually I read silently in my head. Also because if I want someone to read out loud to me, I'll just 
start an audiobook and yeah that's basically the same thing so yeah i guess i read soundly in my head all the time the next question is do you read ahead or even skip pages and this is very shameful but when i first started reading i would read the last page of every single book when i started the book and i don't know why i did that because most times i wouldn't even know what was happening and i would just be confused by the last page um i would never be spoiled even um so i don't know why i did that but yeah i would read the last page or the last sentences and i just don't understand <laughs> like what was my thought process because i didn't even want to know the ending i just was stupid I guess um, but yeah I don't read ahead I don't skip pages I never do that and I try not to do that and I don't even know why people would do that to be honest if you do that please comment down below why uh, like why why would you skip ahead or read the last few pages like I did like I just don't know why <laughs> the next question is breaking the spine or keeping it like new and I always break the spine always 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 that's why i love paperbacks so much because you can just like break the spine and i love the feeling of breaking a spine and i think it just adds character to the book even when i buy books that i've already read like sometimes i'll listen to an audiobook and i really like the book and then i order the book for myself even when i get the book in my house in my possession i'll just like break the spine even though i'm not technically reading the book. I think breaking the spine just adds so much to the book and its story and just, I don't know, it feels read. Like if you keep a book like new, like you would have found at a bookstore, I just don't think it looks like a read book. I don't know, it just makes sense in my head. I can't explain it, but I just love breaking spines and I break it to the max and I just don't care because the book is mine and it means that it has been read and loved. So I love that. And the last question is, do you write in your books? And I don't, but it's not because I don't want to ruin the book. It's just out of laziness, honestly. Like if I could, I would write in every single one of my books but I just never have a pen or like a post-it note or anything at hand, so I just let it go. And every time I think, oh, I should write this down so I can remember it, I'll just like, yeah, not worth it getting up and grabbing a pen, so I just don't do it. But if I wasn't lazy, I would write in my books, I would annotate it, I would do everything but I'm just lazy and yeah that's that's honestly the truth I have nothing against with writing in your books I know that a lot of people hate it but honestly like I was saying with breaking the spine it just adds character and adds story and a personal touch to the book and I love that so if I wasn't lazy I would do it all the time but I'm just like no <laughs> was the reading habits book tag like i said in the beginning if you want to do this tag feel free to do it because i'm not tagging anyone in specific and this was a very fun tag even though this is pretty old this is something that everyone has done already on booktube but i still wanted to do it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't and i will see you on my next one bye